High levels of radiation hamper efforts to bring the plant under control. Crews deploy remote-controlled robots inside the reactor buildings where readings are uh, elevated. Now researchers have developed a high-tech device to allow humans to enter the facilities. Adventure in Ibaraki Prefecture, Eastern Japan, developed this robot suit with researchers at the University of Tsukuba. Workers entering the Fukushima plant now have to wear heavy lead vests to protect themselves from radiation. The researchers say their body suit has been strengthened so it can carry up to 60 kilograms. I can move smoothly and concentrate on walking without worrying about the weight. The venture originally developed the device for people with disabilities and the elderly. The suit detects nerve signals from the brain, then it activates motors on the sides of the leg to help it move. The venture conducted an experiment last week to see if the device can be used to remove rubble and conduct repairs. A robot suit will enable workers to do many more types of work inside the reactor buildings. It should be possible to bring the plant under control faster if the device is used. Tokyo Electric Power Company has begun removing radioactive cesium from water in a pool of spent fuel at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The procedure at the number two reactor is the first of its kind at the entire plant. The concentration of CD cesium remains high in the cooling water of the pools following the meltdowns at the number one, two, and three reactors. TEPCO aims to reduce the concentration of radioactive material in the water from one hundredth to one thousandths within a month. Another concern is salt. After the accident, TEPCO used seawater to cool down the spent fuel pools and the reactors. There are fears that the metal pipes and walls of the pools will corrode because of the salt in the seawater. The salt concentration of water in the pools is not particularly high. It's about one-tenth that of seawater, but corrosion caused by salt may cause holes to form. TEPCO has already begun removing salt from the water in the pool at the number four reactor. It plans to do the same at the number two. これからの海産物放射性測定の設備私はいつも自分の子供に食べ物をあげるときに、この子の栄養になってほしいな。体が大きくなってほしいなと思って食べ物をあげます。それは自分の子供だけじゃなくて、え、どんな肌の色の子供でも世界中の子供みんなそういう
People in Japan's Tohoku region are pulling themselves together and getting back to their busy lives. The earthquake and tsunami devastated towns all along the east coast eight months ago. Now residents are seeing signs of a revival. Local fishermen brought in 20 tons of mackerel, salmon and other fish to a market in the town of Otsuchi. About 30 fishermen and market officials observed a moment of silence for those killed in the disaster. Then they took part in the fish first auction since the tsunami. The haul was about half the normal size for this time of year. Still, it was enough to bring life back to the market. Every fisherman feels down if we don't catch enough fresh fish. I hope the situation will improve little by little from now on. I have mixed emotions. I hope that more fisheries workers would come back to the market. A railway company celebrated the resumption of freight train service in the nearby city of Ofunato. Company officials say the train makes up to 13 round trips a day between a limestone mine and a cement plant. The factory was hit by the tsunami and resumed operations last week. We've been grinding our teeth for the entire eight months. I feel as if we've finally found a ray of hope. And a delegation from Fukushima Prefecture has ended a six-day visit to Belarus and Ukraine. The two countries were heavily contaminated in the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear accident. Prefectural staff and researchers visited a group of evacuees on Sunday. They used to live in a town about four kilometers from Chernobyl. Fukushima University Deputy President and head of the group Shuji Shimizu said they learned a lot that should be useful to people in Fukushima.
Thank you.